My name is Juan Jimenez. I've been a resident nine years in Bridgeport. I've been homeless eight. It's kind of hard to get a job, not steady. But you know, I get a little, here and there, I get a nice little gig and make money and that's it, you know? My name is Alex Ramos. I'm the executive director of Square for Others. And uh, what we do is we're attempting to eradicate homelessness in a Bridgeport, Connecticut area. As we're attempting to do this, we build connections by feeding the homeless every single night, 365 days out of the year. While we're doing that, we are building genuine relationships while building their trust to connect them to the proper organizations to help them get off the streets. The issue we're having is connecting with the municipal parties to assist us on this journey. The best thing about this city is that there's a lot of people that care about it. And we've recognized that there's so many different organizations and initiatives and people that want to do right by the city. And I think the problem that we are challenged with is the division. Everybody has a heart that cares for the people around here. And it's a community of people that would rather see everybody do well than see everybody struggle. To really get to the heart of the problems, we need to drop the facades that we are different or we're fighting different battles. The truth of the matter is, we are facing the same struggles. I in Bridgewater for 10 years. I lost my job. For disgrace, I was in a car and me hit me. That's why I'm in this condition, in the wheel. But I've always worked all my life. Since the 17 years old, I'm going to 50. Often, um, people ask me, why am I running? I'm running not because I have a solution to all the problems, but I'm running because I've experienced what we're living in Bridgeport through friends, families, um, incarceration by others coming out looking for a second chance. And, you know, one of the things that keep growing and being more evidence as ever is homelessness. We have shelters across the city that are over capacity, unable to fill the demand. Um, and sometimes when you go through the system and put your name in the 211 for those that could put their name in the system looking for help, they can't get any help. What we have to do, and hopefully as an elected official, as a mayor of the city, is to bring those people that have it not only experienced, but trying to find a solution to the problem around the table so we could talk about it. So we could look at the resources they need, look at what the city can offer and look more importantly what the city can go and get to help alleviate some of this problem we're having. While feeding the homeless and helping them get connected to resources might sound easy, it's not that easy because we all lack one major thing, which is relationship and we're lacking funds. In order to get relationship, you have to be out here in the street and we're missing that connection from the municipal party to the streets. And then we're also lacking funds, the funds to be able to help them. It's not just a housing crisis, it's bigger than that. There is an epidemic, a drug epidemic that these homeless are going through. And it's not just getting them connected to houses, but getting them connected to the proper resources in order to get them off of the streets, to get them the proper help so that one day they can give back to their community. In all of the time that most of the people have been in Bridgeport, um, a lot of people have seen the ups and downs of the struggles of the city. And I believe as a collective right now, we recognize and can identify that we're facing one of the hardest times um, in our homeless community. Our population in this community is growing uh, at an exponential kind of rate. And it's almost terrifying to think that we um, exist in this city and this life on a daily basis and we walk right past each other sometimes. This is one of the locations where we feed the homeless every single night. They sleep right behind there and inside the, the shelves where you see right there. They, they have a home inside where they put a little bed in. One's a veteran who we, we've been taking care of for about three years and the other one's a 23 year old who we've been taking care of for about two years. We feed them every single night. We try to establish that relationship, but it's been difficult to find them an organization that can assist them go from back here, back into housing, and back into rehabilitation so they can progress. People need help in these streets, and it's our job to 
go to the people with the resources and bring it to the people that need them. I'm John Gomes and I approve this message.